This is a little color mixing tutorial on how to capture and paint color swatches from the sky. You can see here that I like having two jars of water. One is for rinsing my brush and the other one is for adding clean water to my paint set. I've got a towel or a cloth for blotting off my brush and a piece of scrap watercolor paper that I'm actually going to use as a reusable palette. You can also mix colors in your plastic palette or on a plate or in little cups if you have them, but the paper is nice for testing out colors. You can even re-moisten them with water after they've dried, and you can also add fresh pigment on top of them until your paper is exhausted. You're going to need at least one or two blues to work with, some black, some white, and possibly the other two primary colors, a little bit of magenta and a little bit of yellow. Now you'll see that I've placed a little bit of blue on my page. I've done it also on my palette. And now begins the process of going back and forth and pulling small amounts of color um, and thinning it out with some water. You can see I've got the black there and making some lighter grays but I'm not taking a strong amount of color and just blopping it right into another color. I'm starting this process of thinning them out and blending them one together. Right now I'm mixing gray between the um, white and the black. The white's just a little hard to see in the video. Making little tests down below, see what that color is like. Can thin that out with water if it was too dark. Rinsing off brush. And now I've gone into one of the blues and thinning this out. So I'm getting a range of darker blue, lighter blue, and when I have just a small amount in my brush, I can come and start to play around with the other colors that I'm mixing. So mixing the blue with sort of a mix of gray is going to soft, soften and tone down um, your blues and get closer and closer to things that we actually see in the sky. I'm adding a little bit more paint because I've run out of black. And you can, if you're not sure which blue to use, you can try a few different ones. So on the right is ultramarine, French ultramarine. And on the left, I believe I have sort of a middle blue. In this case, it's Windsor blue red shade, which means it's a blue that tends to mix well a little bit more towards purple and red as opposed to making a green. If it said yellow, uh, Windsor blue, green shade, it would mix better with yellow. So here we're just, we're having fun. We're mixing the colors. I've got a wide variety of pale colors. And I think the mistake people often make with watercolor or just painting in general is adding too much of a dark color all at once and then not really being able to fine tune um, the colors more subtly. Now I've got a small amount of magenta which can really take over quite quickly. We don't typically see too much purple in the sky but a small amount can really change um, your blue from a brighter blue to just a little bit more of a softer violety gray which we often see kind of on the underbelly of clouds sometimes. I'm adding little test swatches at the bottom as I go and now on my nice sheet of watercolor paper, I'm going to add some of these colors that I've mixed. Picking right up off that piece of paper, you might need a little extra water to help lift some of it off, and then coming and making a nice little swatch of a color that we see. And if you think you see a color, try and paint it. I find this process to be really enjoyable, it's relaxing, and it takes away the worry of having to capture things realistically as we see them in the natural world. And all we're really doing is observing colors. Lastly, this little color exercise can also be done with plants. So in this case, I've got a smaller um, card. You could do this on a larger sheet of paper but I've taken inside a little daffodil and I'm going to, over the process of a few days, record the colors as they subtly change. 
So it means each day or maybe every other day, I'm going to take a piece of paper, look at my daffodil, and if I think I see a color, I'm going to paint it. And it may be that the first few days it sort of stays the same, but each day notice if there's a subtle change and we know for certain that it's not going to last forever and what will happen to those colors as it moves on into a different state of being.